All right, Collective, here we go. It's top of the month. Well, it's the day in. It's September 2nd. I have grabbed the little lightseer deck. Here it is. It's right here. I'm going to give it a shuffle. This is my monthly top of the month thank you reading for anyone who has seen fit to give me a nickel for these here tarot readings. Whether it's, I don't know, buying the extendeds, so much appreciated. More than just my mom. That's good. And it's uh, donations and all of that. Whatever it is, whether you saw me on a walk and you chucked a nickel at my head, no matter. This is a thank you for that. It's much appreciated. This reading is for all of you. I know some stragglers will come in, but that's all right. I'm channeling the energy through. It don't matter. I'm a nice neutral energy person, so it's all good. All right, I'm giving the deck a shuffle. I'm going to do a very special reading for you guys. A general reading it may or may not resonate with you. But if you saw fit to chuck a nickel at my head at any point, <laughs> ow, that hurt a little. I, I appreciate it. And that's what this reading's for. It's timeless whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. But as I shuffle the deck here, I'm about to pull a pyramid reading for you guys today on the energies of uh, your soulmate connection. Pyramid readings are very powerful. Pyramids are very powerful. That's why people hang them on their doors. Pyramids channel energy. That's what they do. It's an extremely powerful shape. It's extremely powerful in mathematics. And it's extremely important to the universe as a whole. And energy as a whole. That's why the Egyptians built it. Now, some, now some of those ufology people, I am shuffling, don't worry. Some of those ufology people, <laughs> Think that those uh, pyramids were ancient power plants. They may have been. Uh, most of the guts of that would, they are certainly built for it. Most of the guts of that would have long since eroded away. And, there are, and they do find some artifacts in there that don't make sense for the time of the pyramids. Why is this material here? <laughs> you find a piece of carbon steel and some men in there for, for, for 5,000 years. You start to wonder, wait a second, where the hell did this come from? Anyway, here we go. I don't know. I'm not, I don't know. But I do know I'm going to do a very powerful reading for you, so you're going to want to stick around. All right, bottom of the deck, before the cut, is strength. You all have somebody who's been thinking a long time. And these deep, and these deep soul, twin flame, either or, these powerful soulmate connections you guys got that we're pulling on in this cycle. You got somebody who's been thinking for a long time, trying to get the strength up to come in. Somebody just doesn't have the strength. Their soul ain't finished talking to their uh, brain yet. I got a card here that wants to break through. It's the Queen of Wands. You know, whenever that happens, whenever you get a split, you get a card that wants to break through. You best take a look at it. The Queen of Wands there before the cut as well with strength. It's something you wouldn't know. You you wouldn't know. You could stand next to this person and, and even if they, you know, you would just you wouldn't know the feelings that they had for you. And after the cut, I get the three of wands. It's very interesting that I get a three during a pyramid reading. <laughs> I get the three of wands. It's our girl here who rode all the way out from the valley up to Ventura County line. It's a long ride. If you don't live out here, it's a pain in the ass. You got to go over a canyon. You got to do this. You always get caught behind the Ace of Pentacles grandma doing 15 on the canyon when you got a sports car that can take it at 60. Fucker. I, tell you, I never get that thing out of second gear. Not one time on those canyons. Uh, I'm going to give the deck a final shuffle. Somebody's fixing, you know, again, the energy of September, when I'm pulling this here, for this is your thank you reading for September, is made of communication. People coming off the fence. The energy is very weird right now. We've had an energy shift. We talked about that on a Schrodinger's Cat that I just did earlier today. You might want to check that out. But this reading, this is very special. This is for you. Anybody who saw fifth throw a nickel at my head. The overall energy is the seven of wands. It is much appreciated. It is. My wife won't let me do these for free. <laughs> but anyway. But she'll keep baking them cookies for you. Right here, the seven of wands. Well, if you look at the girl on the card here, take a look at her. She's kind of just keeping the high ground right now. Realizing what the right thing to do is. Let's see where we go. This top row is going to be how your person feels about you. This right here, middle row, it's going to be 
the hidden energies, we'll call them, okay? And the bottom here is going to be a, 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 the final outcome, I guess. We can kind of technically call it that, where it's all hidden. But the energy is going to pool. And it's going to channel itself down to the final outcome. It's going to, so we'll pull a few extra cards around that. All right? Let's see where we go. How's your person feel about you? Three cards across the top. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So far, so good. <laughs> I feel the energy coming off these cards. That's why I'm laughing. I ain't looking at them. I don't know. And <laughs> the Ace of Cups. I felt that shit. I was like, I just started laughing when I started pulling cards. I said, how's your person feel about you? Oh, uh, you're going you're gonna to need to start chucking dimes at me. You Actually, you don't need to. You can probably just chuck a penny because we're doing real good with nickels here uh, flying at my head. Oh, man. How's this person feel about you? You know, you know we're going to clarify, so don't worry. We'll get more info, but the center card, it's red center left right. The center card is the Ace of Wands. We Again, uh, this person here knows what the right thing to do is. They're just hanging back right now. We had the Three of Wands girl. This is very similar to the energy around our Three of Wands surfer girl who ain't jumped in the water yet, but she about to. Ace of Wands, the energy here of September is forward movement beyond belief. Like no other month I've seen uh, since I've been out here on YouTube, which is like since February or something. I mean, it's unreal. Ace of Wands... Passionate new beginning. They want to talk to you. It's a card of communication. This is a card of communication. And this is a card of love that so much. I told you this already in this reading. They have so, you wouldn't know, like with that strength card, you wouldn't know that they've been really, it just drives them crazy that they, that because you can't hold on to this forever. Love is the most powerful energy in the universe. And the Wheel of Fortune here, this is about to turn. They, they just can't take it anymore. And it's about to turn. And it turns in your favor. It's a card. It's the Wheel of Destiny. This is really a destined connection. And for a few of you out there that I'm talking to, this was supposed to happen. Something went wrong here on the timeline somewhere. And that's why this connection cycle is so interesting. You know, usually, like in the last connection cycle, the divine masculine or whoever has to learn the most lesson will say the divine masculine in this case because that's what we're dealing with this time the person who had to learn the most lesson learned it and they came together i mean it was literally like hi my name is steve hi i'm becky let's do it you know let's bang it really was kind of like that but nobody took the time in that cycle to really learn the lessons so those couples all a good, better than 80% of them are divorced or are getting divorced or are broken up in some way. This cycle is different. The divine masculine side is the side that has to learn more, has the one that's stuck on pentacles, is the one that, that has to learn to be vulnerable. Divine feminine needed to learn about self-worth and a few things off of that. We talked about that the other day on a bang. The universe wanted to. But the divine masculine is taking the time. The universe keeps kicking them back. Like they make it to the, the fool makes it to the judgment card. Nope, you ain't learned your lesson. And the universe keeps kicking them back. And it's, we've seen it a hundred times in this cycle. And I know it's getting old. But it, what it's doing is it's building the energy of the connection. It's making the connection, if you, do, if you two actually do come together and can put the past behind you and work it out, you'll stay together for the rest of your life. These are four of wands type 80 year old we see the four of wands a lot there that three of wands we saw after the cut that's the card that's the gateway to the four of wands which is the happy new beginning and the 80 year old couple walking in the park telling everybody how they met whether they want to hear it or not you re there really is a lot of long-term potential here believe it or not it's a better cycle than the last cycle though it's a tougher journey let's see what the hidden energies are i've been shuffling the whole time Holy shit. The Ten of Cups and the Hermit. Somebody figuring it out. The hidden energies, what the universe wants you to know is somebody is figuring this shit out. Collective. I am not shitting you. This is somebody this is fairy tales a little bit, a little bit, but in this case here, the energy around it is the picture. You know, somebody is thinking about, whether you realize it or not, thinking about a future. 
here. They know that you're the one with the future, but that scares the hell out of them, so they hermit themselves back in the cave. But somebody, you are the beacon in somebody's storm. It's very, tr it's very true. The energy of how they feel about you, these three cards, I mean, I couldn't stop laughing when I started pulling them. And I knew that they were all good cards. I can't tell, I'm not a psychic, I can't tell what the card is, but I can tell if it's good or bad. I'm like Santa Claus, right? Santa Steve, I know if you've been good or bad. So be good for goodness sake, right? I know. In my case, my superpower is I know if you're clothed or naked. That's really my superpower. That's it. I know a couple of you watch all my videos naked. I don't, you don't even have to watch the bangs naked. Right? The, the, best, the, the best I can do for you in a regular reading is, is, is some hand action. All right? I'll do that for you. Uh -oh. Final outcome. Where's this going? I can't wait to clarify this shit. Where's this going? What's the final outcome? I need to shuffle for it, dumbass. Okay, I wasn't shuffling. What's the final outcome here, universe? Where's this pyramid heading? So all the energy here is channeling down in the hidden energy. They're in the hermit. They're thinking about you. You make them happy. Whatever, the implication of every reading has an implication. All these, every card's positive. Positive, 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 positive. They're all positive cards. The implication is whatever's going on on their side, if there is a third energy, be it a spouse, a career, or whatever, it's not making them happy. You are. It's right here with the Ten of Cups. Wow. Holy shit. The energy really has changed. I can't pull a bad reading oh, since about the 28th of August. I can't, I, can't, uh, I can't do it. And that's about the time the energy changed, give or take. What's the final outcome here? Shit. Yeah, showing up as a page. When pigs fly, a little flying pig up here in the corner. There it is. It, this almost verifies, actually not almost, this verifies the Schrodinger's cat reading I just did a few hours ago that's up right now. So get your ass over there and watch it if you haven't. This verifies that reading. At the very least, the bridging energy of the reading. Right here, the page, because I think this was one of the cards in the bridging energy. The page of cups. The Page of Cups and the final outcome here in a pyramid reading, this gets juiced up. This is almost a Knight of Cups. Almost. It gets juiced up because the energy comes down. <clears throat> you are this person's beacon in the storm. Bottom of the deck crossing the final outcome, however, is Sarah Gilbert. All right, so let's not get too excited. A washed up TV star, Two of Swords, showed up here. The most hated person on my, second only to the Burger King, I think. But that's a hated restaurant. This is the most hated person on my Twitter feed. Um, they're at a crossroads. This person is just, fr and we saw it with the strength card, because the strength card is about fear. If you have to get the nerve up to do something, it implies you're afraid to do it. They're just sitting. And that, that, that seven of wands I showed you twice from the bottom of the deck backs it up as well. They're just keeping, it's like I told you with the seven of wands, they're just keeping the high ground. Right now, they're just sitting still feeling all this, daydreaming a little bit about the happiness that's here, and trying to figure out how to get themselves, for some of you, they're trying to figure out how to get themselves out of a mess they got themselves in on their side. If they're with somebody else or, or, or a way of thinking that's, that's cornered them in life, maybe too pinnacle based. But either way, the channel's down to the page of cups. They are showing up as a page, but probably because they owe you a goddamn apology. That's why. I'm going to switch decks. And we're going to clarify. Why's the wheel here? Wheel of fortune. Wheel of destiny is turning on this, folks. Why's the wheel here? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Justice. For, for some of you, they're getting a divorce. A marriage is over on their side. For some of you. I'm just going to say it flat out. For others of you, karma. They suffered some karma here. You're their karma. You're this, this person. If this person disrespected you, blew you off, for whatever reason, doesn't matter. They did something that went against destiny, and they suffered some karma for it. And they're now realizing if this connection forced them to look in the mirror. You know, they thought they was a white cat. They thought so. They did. They thought so. But they looked in the mirror and realized they weren't. 
And I ain't getting racial here. There's cats on the thing. Don't don't give me no. Why didn't you pick the black cat first? Fine. Fine. They thought they were the black cat. And then they looked in the mirror and realized, oh shit, I'm a white cat. Hmm. Yeah. Either way, they weren't a matching cat. These cats could be red and blue. It don't matter. Some kind of karma here. The wheel's turning. They're coming. For a lot of, uh, I, I'm on a, I'm on, I don't even know how anybody could turn away from this energy. If your person doesn't show up with the energies I'm getting, I'm just going to say it. You dodged a bullet. Because I couldn't, for the life of me, I would never let it get this far. First of all, this Ace of Cups, as soon as I feel Ace of Cups level love for somebody, I tell them. I, tell, I, I can't hold on to that cup. But if your person doesn't show up with all the readings I've been doing lately and what I've been getting, uh, at some point in the next couple of months, honest to God, a month or two, you know, September, early October, whatever. I mean, if they can defeat this, you don't want them. Okay? <laughs> I'm just going to tell you, uh, why is the justice here? Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. They're confused. Yeah, they are. They're, they're Sarah Gilbert. Um... They are. The, I mean, the wheel is turning. They're, they're afraid somebody else is going to snatch you. There's all kinds of energies coming off of this. I could read 700 freaking scenarios here. They're afraid somebody else might snatch you up. They're, they know they disrespected you. They're not sure how you're going to respond. That's the, most, that's the strongest energy. That's where a lot of the fear is coming from. They're not sure how you're going to respond. They don't want it to turn into a fight. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Let's find out. Ace of Wands is a powerful card. Why is the Ace of Wands here? And I will, I'm going to show you something in a second. All right. I got my shuffle. See these two cards? We got the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. These two cards form a soul pair. They're the only two in the deck that form the rest of the face. The Ace of Cups forms the rest of the face of the Ace of Wands. And they're back to back and they came out in the right order in a pyramid reading, which is super powerful. This is almost personal. All right. I got my shuffle here. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Two, two of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. For some of you, they, they sat on the fence about making a decision to walk away from someone. This ties to this divorce card here, this justice on top of Wheel of Fortune. All right. For others of you, they just, or for all of you in general, whatever, they sat on the fence, okay? They're in the process of making a decision to either walk away from something else on their side or come in where this Ace of Wands new beginning quickly before you get away, before you walk away. Again, I saw, saw that in the energy there on the Seven of Cups. They're afraid somebody else is going to snatch you up, and somebody else might. I've met a lot of you. I'm not just kissing your ass because you threw a nickel at my head. I tell you all the time. I think uh, everybody I talk to on Twitter, I think you're terrific. I do. You're all you all very spiritual. You got your, you know, I'd, I'd bang any one of you, male or female. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not picky. <laughs> I, I, I say that with love. All right, the Ace of Cups. Why is it here? Why is the Ace of Cups here? This person, it's this person's loss if they don't come in, is what I'm trying to tell you. I've read a lot of your energy. I get it off the tweets a little bit. It lingers. It's this person's loss. It really is. And I mean that. And I've said it on other readings where it wasn't the thank you reading for the nickels thrown at my head. I know. I know. All right. Ace of Cups. Why is it here? Why are they holding on to all this? Oh, shit. <laughs> They can't, I was just about to say why they holding on to all this love. Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Wands again. I got repeat cards and a Chariot. I, I got the Ace of Wands twice. I got the Wheel of Fortune twice. And I got a Chariot bookending the damn Justice card. Listen to me. If this person is, and I don't know why this shit's off camera. Did my camera move again? Um... Anyway, let me move a little. If this person is with someone, if your person's married or something like that, they don't give two shits about it. That shit is over. They want to book it for the hills. And they want to tell you about it. That's the sun in front of the moon. That's Chatty Cathy in front of Silent Bob. 
got pinnacle on it right there. That's the pinnacle of the ten of pinnacles. It's it's a powerful card. Major Arcana, Major Arcana sitting on top of the Ace of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune is communication. I got to tell you, there's something else here. Ace of Wands. What's under this Ace of Wands? Oh, there it is. It's the sad horse. It's the Five of Cups. Oh, this person knows. They blew it. They all do. They all do. That's why they're in a hermit. That's why they're like, oh, shit. Ten of Cups. Um... Whether your person's in a third party with somebody else or not, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The wheel is turning on this. this. This is communication. This is them charging in. That's how they feel about you. This is what they want to do. Uh, their, their propensity with this Seven of Cups, when this person gets confused, or they're like the Hulk. You know, when, when Bruce Banner gets poked or he gets upset or he gets whatever, he transforms into the Hulk. Well, this person, when they get confused, when something comes up like that, when something emotional happens, they turn into an emotional Hulk a little bit. And it's kind of a Hulk smash kind of thing. You know, they come in, they smash the whole table, they run. They're a runner. They are. Their propensity is, that's part of what this Eight of Cups energy is. You know, they yeah, they need to walk away. For some of you, they need to walk away from something on their side. They sat on the fence. For some of you, they're afraid you're going to get away. Because they've been sitting on the fence and they need to make a decision. But also, their propensity is, uh, there's a little bit of an energy around that of, oh shit, I, this is scary. And it is scary, I can see it here. But the hermit is a good sign. The hermit goes up in the cave, he chills out a little bit. You know, the hermit uses his wisdom, the inner wisdom. Why is this Ten of Cups here? The hidden energies. What else you want to tell people that threw nickels in my head? about this uh these hidden energies here this is a very powerful this is the center of the pyramid right here the, anyway this person fucking loves you and if they don't come in with all this energy i've been getting in the september readings and the schrodinger's cat and all this other i mean honest to god and the quickies we've been doing and the three quick cards you don't want them i mean this this is someone who has just learned some lessons here realized they made they missed a great opportunity probably at the very least to have a great friend you know and it's nothing and that's part of what that regret is that five of cups though around that was that nothing's happened here that you're not even friends at the very least or as close as you could be even if you are friends why is the ten of cups here the ten of cups just got fucking clarified in another deck by the ten of cups you understand this is a very powerful reading that this is if this had happened in a regular reading, eh, okay, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Here, this is. I was just talking about the Hulk. This is stronger than the Hulk. This is the ten. This is twenty cups. Okay, it's fucking twenty cups. The hidden energy is what you don't know. Okay, is that yo? This person's speaking in the storm, and they're in a hermit doing nothing but thinking about you. And you might get away, and they're going to come charging in because I get two wheel of fortunes. I got two Wheel of Fortunes, two Ace of Wands, and two Ten of Cups. This, you make this, this person's... I don't care what they've told you. I don't care if they tell you, you suck, I hate you, and you smell funny, and I never want to see you again, and I'm moving 10,000 miles away to go be with polar bears. I don't care if they told you that. Seriously. Deep down inside, in the hidden energies, in the 5D, Nothing in this planet makes them happier. It's 20 cups. I dare to ask what, and it, yep, yep. I said I dare to ask what the next card is. I knew there was going to be a dichotomy here. The Eight of Swords, and it confuses the fuck out of them. The Eight of Swords sends them into, this is why the Hermit's here. Because all this, this 20 cups of happiness, they've never experienced this before. No, 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 no. Because if they are in a third party with a, a marriage or something like that, this this reading reeks of divorce. It reeks of it's over. At the very least, it reeks of someone who don't even put the book down while they're banging. You know, are you done yet? It says things like, instead of I love you, you're beautiful, they say, are you done yet? You know, that kind of thing. Um, they're not used to this. And it sends them in the Eight of Swords. It sends them, they over, they're, they're overthinking this. The Eight of Swords with the Hermit is overthinking. It is two cards, two great tastes that don't taste great together. 
All right, they're in the cave. They're overthinking. You're the beacon. They're feeling 20 cups of, of happiness. Why is the hermit here? That's the holdup. That's what it is. And it's, it's par for the course for this connection cycle. Why is the, why is the hermit here? Flew out of the deck. Landed on, uh, pretty much on my shoulder because the fan caught it and blew it up into my face. The Ace of Cups. I now have two Ace of Cups, two uh, Ace of Wands, two Wheel of Fortunes, two Ten of Cups. Okay. Um, statistical odds don't even get me started on the math here. But aside from that, this is a destined connection that was supposed to happen. Uh, when, when things like this happen, it's for a reason. Now, I've seen this in very few tarot readings I've ever pulled in 31 years. When things like this happen, this, was, this connection, you two were supposed to come together. But this person failed their judgment. Think of it like a, because we have them here in California, they're called smog checks, where every two years if you got a car that's you know, pre a certain, within a certain year's age range, you got to take it and go have the emissions tested. All right? So think of your person as, as this old car. There's 74 Pinto, right? From the Twin Flame reading with the 74 Pinto. They, they take their 74 Pinto in, and that small center is the judgment car. Judgment car goes, nope, you failed. Your hydrocarbons are too high. You're puffing smoke out the back. That kicks them back to the fool. They take the car back in again. Nope. Takes them back. The universe is trying to let this person cook. What I'm trying to say is they're trying to let this person cook. They're sending them back to get some repairs because this is an important connection. The universe usually doesn't care that much. It wants to balance the connection. It tries a couple of times and then it gives up. That's, what no that's a normal connection cycle. I've told you this before, and I'm going to tell you again. It's playing out right here in cards. I have never seen in all of my years, and I've been reading energy since I was four, since I figured out I could do it, and I spotted I could, I could spot connections around age five or six. But I've never seen the universe try so hard to bring people together, to, to balance connections. These are very powerful connections, folks. Okay, you're, you're in a connection cycle right now that that's like, it, it's like history. It really is. And right here, Knight of Swords. What they're, what they're doing in the Hermit is they're feeling all this love. But they're overthinking it a little bit. Because this is happiness overload. This is 20 cups. It's a happiness overload. But all of that is driving them to want to come towards you. Not run away. Because the Knight of Swords here, how do I know not run away? How, Steve, how do you know not run away? Okay, I'll tell you because I read energy. But aside from that, the Knight of Swords is flying right toward here. If he was over here, I'd have to say they're flying away from the cup. Because this card, I ask, why is the Ace of Cups here? Well, I don't ask, I do ask that, but he's flying right towards it. They cannot escape this love. And the, and the universe won't let them, just like the, the smog check people won't let your car escape smog check. Nope. You're not going to get your little registration sticker until this sucker passes. I don't care if you got to go pay $5,000 for repairs and we send you back 20 times. Nope. No, no sticker. Okay. Okay. This is where we're at. It's this person, the universe won't let this go. It will not. This is unreal. Why is the Page of Cups here? Final outcome, Page of Cups. They finally, I believe it. From this reading, I believe it. Like I told you, if you don't hear from this person, if this person doesn't open up a little bit or at least offer you an apology or some sort of closure here in September, early October, whatever, near future, you don't want them. Because this is so much energy. I mean, my God, I'd have already, we'd have already bought a house and been banging hundreds of times by now if, if I was this soulmate with this, if I felt this way about you. My God, Jesus, holy crap. All right, here we go. This is kind of the way Fleming the parrot felt about the cockatoo that moved away down the street. He was very upset when that cockatoo moved away. He liked that cockatoo. It was a lesser sulfur crested. They were about the same size. He liked it. He liked, oh, he was a little bigger, 
But he like you know, he, but he, so he liked that. He liked that. You know, he misses that damn cockatoo. I'm tell you, every day. It's all I got to hear about is the fucking. Where's the cockatoo? She gone. They moved. Moved to Pasadena. I ain't driving you over the Pasadena, motherfucker. Not from. That's a long ride. All right, here we a lot of traffic. Too many grandmas doing 15. All right. So the, so the universe ain't letting this go. Your person is figuring it out, though. They are. I like the look. I don't, I don't usually say this, but I like the look of this Two of Pentacles, and I like the look of Two Wheel of Fortunes. Two Wheel of Fortunes is ridiculous. That's, that's, but the 20 of Cups, man, this person really into you. And hell if you know, because I got pigs flying here on this Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? <laughs> Flew out of the deck. Flew. Page of Wands. I'm going to pull a stack here. Hermit. I got two hermits now. Hierophant. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm pulling five cards on top of a page of cups. You're not going to see the page of cups because it's going to get buried by giant animal cards. I'm going to need a bigger table for pyramid readings. Four of cups. They're scared shitless that you tell them no. Scared. The energy off I get off this is off this four of cups. There's nothing but disappointment around this person. This person would be so disappointed if they opened up. Yep, and they're worried as fuck about it. Nine of Swords, my discombobulated critter. Wow. On top of a page of cups. Coming in, final outcome, coming in with a small apology. I got the page of wands, which is the same kind of energy, or just a little bit more passionate. It's about communication. It's someone who does want to get to know you better, does want to tell you some things. It's a card of curiosity. They do want to talk to you. I'll put it like that. It's bookend in the Nine of Swords. They're worried as fuck about it. That's part of what's... I got two hermits now. Double hermit. I mean, the... And I'm not going to read that as, as you're paralleling each other. I'm not going to read it as they feel the same way you do. You feel, That's not what this energy is. This energy is the universe like putting a door. It's like they're in the hermit cave and the universe comes and boards it up. And says, nope, you're not going anywhere. You know, puts like a supervisor hermit in there with them. The hierophant down the middle here. And like I already told you, the four of cups, they're worried about, you know, you rejecting them because they rejected you and they know that. They owe you an apology. We know that from the page of cups, which is buried down here. This hierophant, though, is very telling. This is, this disconnection has long-term potential. For those of you where your person's married, the hierophant and justice and the wheel of fortune twice in the same reading um, and the amount of love the ten, the 20 cups that they feel for you I don't think they give fucking two shits about that person I don't for the rest of you for all of you this is a very spiritual connection this is a connection with long term it's divinely guided on crack I got two wheel of fortunes two ace of wands two ace of cups two hermits two uh, I, think, I think I said two wheel of fortunes yeah uh, and two Ten of Cups and a Hierophant down the middle here. Jesus Christ. All right. Wow. Uh, and with the Chariot over here and how they feel as the last card out and the wheel on top of it, honestly, I'd be damn surprised. I don't know how they could... There's no way. The universe isn't going to let this go. They're not going to get their registration t sticker until they pass their damn smog check. You know? They, they got to figure this out. With two hermits, that's funny. That's funny. That's actually like, you know, the smog technician watching, to, watching the repairs be done to make sure that they're getting done kind of thing, coming with you. You know, they have supervision from the universe while they're in the hermit. Universe forcing them to drink from this Ace of Cups with two Ace of Cups, causing them to want to just gravitate towards it and come toward you. They do have something they want to say to you. And they want to tell you probably, you know, how much this connection has affected them. They're definitely aware of your gravitational pull. What's, uh, give me three cards over the top here, universe. Let's go out with a bang. What do you want to tell everybody that threw a nickel in my head about this reading? This is, wow. These readings in September are going to be epic. We're going to break all kinds of records here. Uh, I'm telling you. 20 cups, two wheel of fortunes, two ace of cups. 
two Ace of Wands. Fucking hell. All right. <laughs> what were we just talking about? I got two cards that came out together. They actually stuck together. So I'm going to take them in the order that they came, that they're stuck together. The Three of Swords, Kurt Cobain and Pain. You might ask, why is Kurt Cobain in Pain? Because uh, it does have something to do with Dave Grohl. That's one reason. And the Foo Fighters. He's very upset at what happened to the music genre. He helped to make famous the best hits in the tarot. I said I was going to end on a bang. It's the card I'd most like to bang right there. The Empress. I just got done telling you there's a magnetic pull. Double Hermit. They got supervision in the Hermit. They just cannot, you know, they're being forced to drink out of this. They're chained to a chair with their pants around their ankles and somebody's holding a knife to them going, drink from the goblet of love. Drink. Uh, the Empress is, is irresistible force. This is you. This is your energy. It's the, your, most of you watching this are the Divine Feminine. Very few Divine Masculines come here to my channel. They don't like me because I make them think and I make them realize how stupid they're being so they don't come here. Few of them are watching. There aren't that many of them watching tarot readings anyway. If they were enlightened enough to do that, they'd, make, they'd pick up the damn phone and get this taken care of because this is ridiculous. Right there. Irresistible force. And they're in pain. And the longer they stay in pain, the stronger the force gets. Just like the Hulk. The angrier the Hulk gets, the stronger he gets. That's how he works. The more pain Kurt Cobain feels, the stronger the magnetic pull of these tits. Right there. Mm. One more card. Those two flew out together. They came out together. Our last card is another pussy. Uh, but this one here has got a dress on. Claims it's a cloak, but it's a dress. It's a death card. There's transformation coming here. They're not going to be able to resist this because the more they resist, it, it's a trap. It's a honey trap. The universe has set a trap. Okay? What do I mean by that? Well, the death card guarantees, almost guarantees, it's major arcana. I mean, yeah, they still got their free will, but I don't know how the fuck anybody can resist this. Jesus Christ. Again, if they do, you don't want them. You just not positive. I mean, honest to God, I'm just shooting straight with you. So we're almost guaranteed transformation here. The more they resist, the stronger the pull. The, the, the universe has set a trap. It's, it's, it's forcing them to look at the connection, which is forcing them into the Eight of Swords, which is forcing them into the Three of Swords, which is only forcing the Empress's power to become more powerful and they want to come towards it, which is also if they're in a third party, making that third party look even worse and worse and worse each day. So that's kind of the hold up there for those of you where your person's married. Each day that goes by, the more pain Kurt feels, the more the, the, the supervisor hermit makes them in the hermit drink from the goblet of the double ace of cups, the more pain they feel. The more pull the empress has, you're the empress. And the worse that their third party looks, or the worse their life looks on their side without you, that's the karma that they're facing that I talked about. It's right there. So whether they're married or not, their whole world on their side looks worse and the Empress keeps looking better. These three cards together are the universe's honey trap. It really is. It's forced rebirth. It's forced transformation. <laughs> With the Empress down the center and pain and transformation. That Kurt can't take it anymore. He's got to come back from the dead and beat the shit out of Dave Grohl. He's got to. I can't take it anymore. Now you're releasing cartoony Foo Fighter songs. Fuck you. God, you already ruined the genre. Don't do it more. What the hell is going on? The Empress is getting stronger and stronger. This is a beautiful rating. You're going to have to be a little bit patient. Crossing the Empress is this asshole. The Knight of Pentacles got himself a racehorse. Bought it used, but it's still fast. Even an old, retired racehorse is fast. Still a fast fucking horse. Give Fury a run for its guy on goddamn money. But he's walking. Whether your person's male or female, that's a he. 
Pentacles are wasted time. There's been a lot of repairs to this 74 Pinto along the way, but he's just about, he's heading over to the station now for his next smog check. <laughs> From the look of this reading, I'd say he's going to pass this one. What's the card underneath this? High Priestess. They're figuring it out, folks. And you're connected to this person, by the way. Something fierce off of this card. They're figuring it out. Underneath that High Priestess, just for shits and giggles, let's look. It's the Two of Wands. They're letting go of some shit. Of the shit that don't look good that the Empress is making look bad. They're letting go of it. We got a whole new world here. And for people that think, because I get a few people sometimes that write in and think that we, we readers, they, they don't just say me, they say you readers make up these stories and you have storylines and you have this and that. See, no fucking storyline. I read the energy first and then I pull the cards. The cards are right here. They verify. You can look up the, I, I, you know, I'm not making up meanings to the cards. You can see the damn reading. It's right here. This is what this shit means. It's just verifying my energy read. This is the energy right now. We've had some kind of shift. I keep pulling Goldilocks readings like mad. I swear, what am I not seeing here? I didn't see a devil in this reading. This is a pyramid reading. It's very powerful. If a devil is even remotely there, he's going to come out. I, I can't, I don't even know if I can find the devil. Is there a devil anywhere here? I got nothing. I'll show you the bottom of the deck. I got the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles, the High Priestess, I got the Two of Wands, I got the uh, Knight of Swords, again, double Knight of Swords, I got the Lovers, I got the Star, I got the Magician, I got the Hangman, and I got my Pooping Girl. And that takes us right back where we started, to the Three of Wands, our Surfer Girl, who's just about to jump in the water. I can't, look, look how many cards I went in, I can't, I, there isn't any energy any further than that. I can't find a Devil, I can't find an Emperor. A Burger King? I got nothing. So there ain't no fucking stories. What makes this fun for me and any reader who's actually doing it, of which there are many, what makes this fun is I never know where this shit's going to go when I grab the deck and I say, hi, welcome to Steve Love Tarot. This is blah, 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 blah. I never know where it's going to go because the cards can prove my energy read wrong. I'm not perfect. I'm translating feelings into words. Think about how difficult that is. If people could do that, the only reason I can do that is because I have deep empathy. Most people can't translate uh, feelings into words. Your person certainly can't. They tell you all the time what shit you are and that they want to leave you and stop calling me and stop texting me and stop this and I'm moving and I'm this and I'm that. Yet nothing but love in the energy. Magnetic pull towards you. Yeah, so there's shit at doing that. There's no stories here. The cards tell the story. The energy tells the story. And you're going to see similar readings. A lot of readers are pulling Goldilocks right now. We're pulling Goldilocks out of our ass. It's crazy. But this is what's going on. And that's your reading. That's your thank you reading here. For anybody who ever threw a nickel at my head for anything here, be it an extended, be it donations, it's all appreciated. I appreciate it very much. And I hope you like this reading. Uh, um, like I said I'm just shooting straight with you because we're all pretty much friends at this point and this channel attracts my soul tribe anyway so I love you guys regardless if this person don't show up at some point in the near future you don't want them if they can defeat this I don't even know how you do a relationship with them I could, don't even make sense this is amazing so, I hope you like this reading. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. And I especially appreciate in this reading, anybody who ever threw a nickel at my head, or a boob. Anybody who ever threw a nickel at my head, showed me a boob, and asked, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's there on the table. I have to mention it. And it's this card here. I swear to God, it was drawn by a horny 15-year-old a horny boy. It really was. All right. Good luck. That's your reading. Stay tuned for your energy updates. There's still more coming this week. It's crazy energy. Good luck, everyone, and thanks.